Hey, what's up everyone? John here with Web Dev for you, here to help you build awesome websites without code in Webflow. In today's video tutorial, I'm gonna go over interaction number 157, and it's this image hover, uh, image animation on hover. So when we hover, the image turns into a circle, and we have this mouse move, so we have this little circle that's following the mouse. And when we hover, it turns into a view button so that the user can click and it'll take him to uh, a website. All right, cool. So this is what we will be building today. It was inspired off this website here, graphichunters.com. I just saw this and I liked kind of this little effect, so decided to recreate it in uh, Webflow. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here I am in Webflow. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll start off with a section and we'll call this 157-section and we'll set the min height to 100 bh and we'll set the display setting to flex and center center so anything I add will be in the center. Next I'll add a link block because we, we want the image to be in a link block and I'll call this 157 image wrapper. Then we'll set the width to 500 by 500 so it doesn't need to be a perfect square and I'll go ahead and add some image uh, add an image that I've added to the assets panel here. So I'll click the plus, choose image, and I'll select this image here. I'll set it to cover, position center, and I don't need it to be tiled. Now to make it a circle, what we want to do is go to the upper arrow here, click the drop down, select hover, and now under radius, I can set it to 50%. So it does need to be a perfect square, so 500 by 500 or any specific size. The width and height do need to be the same in order for it to be a perfect circle by setting the radius to 50%. Okay, so there we have the square turning into a circle, but we do need to add some easing to it. So here we'll click the drop down, go to, or actually uh, we were on the hover state, so we set the hover state to 50%. Now we want to go to the none state and under transitions right here, click the plus, go to under border, select border radius, and set the duration to 500 milliseconds. Uh, you can set this to any speed you'd like, but I find 500 milliseconds works well. All right, great. So that's how we turn the square into a circle. Now let's add this uh, view button that appears when we hover over the image. So I'll go back into Webflow. Um, I'll go ahead and add a div block and we'll call this 157 view more button. We'll give it a width and height of 100 by 100 pixels. And let's give it a border radius, or let's give it a background color. So I have a background color here that I'll go ahead and use. So under backgrounds, we'll just give it that color. And let's set the border radius to 50%. Let's go ahead and set the display setting to flex, center, center. And I'll add a text block in here. And we'll call this 157 view text. And we'll type in view. And let's go ahead and style this text. So for typography, I'm going to set it to DM Sans. We're going to set it to bold. And we'll say uh, all capital. And we'll give it maybe uh, three pixels of letter spacing. And let me just see here if that's what I did. Yeah, I actually gave it four pixels of letter spacing. Okay, and we can set the color to black. And nice, so that looks good. So it's 14 pixels in size and the height, line height is 20. Or we can set it to one dash here. Okay, cool. So we have the view button and now I want it to be in the center of the viewport. So all I have to do here for the view button is set it to a position of absolute and it goes directly in the center of the viewport. Uh, so now what I want to do is add a mouse move interaction. So I'll go to interactions and on page trigger, I'll say while, uh, or mouse, mo mouse move in viewport. And on mouse move, I'll play a mouse animation. I'll start an animation and I'll call this 157 mouse move and we'll start on the x-axis, so at 0%, we'll move it 
on the x negative 50 vw so uh, that's viewport width so it goes all the way to the left and at 100 percent when the mouse goes all the way to the right we're going to move it 50 viewport width to the right and on the y axis which is the vertical axis we're going to move it negative 50 vh viewport height there and when we move the mouse down we're going to move it down 50 vh so now when i preview this uh, view button follows the mouse okay so there are a few things we need to do so notice that now when we hover over the image uh, it doesn't have the effect so essentially what we need to do here is give this a a pointer event of none so that this div block doesn't register any uh, pointer event so it's essentially like it's almost invisible so we do need a piece of code for that and I'll go ahead and showcase this code. Uh, let's see here. So the code, we can go ahead and add an embed element. And I'll paste the code in there. So it's when when working with a number in Webflow, uh, you have to start with an underscore. So the view more button is 157 view, view more button. So it starts with an underscore and then pointer events set to none. Okay, now I'll click save and close. And if I preview, now the animation works correctly. All right, and I'll leave the piece of code in the description area below. And it can also, this project can also be cloned for free. So you can take a look at that piece of code. And that code can be added to the head section as well, uh, right here in the code section. But I added it as an embed so we could see it here in the Webflow preview. So the preview does is able to access the code and embed elements when we add them. All right, so the last thing we need to do is set the circle to be smaller initially, and then when we hover over the image, we want it to grow. So I'll save this and I'll select the image wrapper, click the plus, and I'll say on mouse hover, we're going to start an animation. I'll click the plus and I'll say 157 hover in. And then for uh, for this, I'll select the view more button. I'll click the plus and I'll say uh, scale. So we're going to scale it to 0.2 initially. And I'm just going to say selected element, not class. We're going to set it to the initial state and then we'll set the opacity of the text to zero. And we'll set it as the initial state. And I want to do selected element. Now I'll duplicate these, and for the scale, we'll scale it back to 1 when we hover, and the opacity will set it to 100. And we can make it pretty quick. I think I set it to 0 0.2, using a V, and let me just double check that. And yeah, 0 0.2 and an easing of ease. And I'll click Save. So now if I preview, we can see that the circle is small initially, and when I hover, it turns into the big view button. Uh, so now we need to add the hover out animation. So I'll start an animation. I'll duplicate this and select it here, and I'll say 157 hover out. I'll delete these two initial states, and then for the scale, we'll set it back to 0 0.2. And for the opacity, we'll set it back to zero for the, for the text. So I'll click save, and that's it. So we have the, the yellow dot following the mouse. And when we hover over, we can click view. And I can go ahead and add um, a link to the, to the link block. And I can go ahead and publish. Okay, it's taking a second, preview, and there we go. Nice. So if I want this to be applied to multiple uh, images, I just wanna make sure that the interaction, the hover interaction, for trigger settings, you wanna select class. So any element with 157 image wrapper will have the interaction. I'll go ahead and copy this, and we'll give it a combo class of two, and I'll change the image here. Okay. Then I'll give the image wrapper some margin from the left and the right, something like 40. 
and there we go. So I'll publish and that's it. So yeah, I'll do a quick recap, um, but pretty f straightforward. I can click, it'll take me to Google. Nice. And you can do a lot of different things. You can add an arrow button in this view in, in this view button wrapper and kind of do a lot of interesting things. All right. You could even add a gradient to this. That would be kind of cool. Like if we went to the view more button and I'm just getting a little creative here, but let's say you wanted to add a gradient or an image, you could do you could do that as well. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess too much with that, but yeah, that's the idea. You can add a gradient, make the button really interesting, or even add an image. I mean, that wouldn't work out too well, but if there was another image, Yeah, there's many things that can be done with that. Um, cool, I'll leave it at yellow for now, uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, so just to recap, we added an image wrapper, or we added a section, then we added an image wrapper, set it to 500 by 500, and then went to the hover state, set the border radius to 50%, went back to the none state, set the border radius uh, transition to border radius in 500 milliseconds, and an easing of ease, then we added the mouse viewport interaction uh, on page trigger, and we just moved it 50 VW to the left and right on the X axis. And on the Y, we moved it up and down 50 VH. Then we had a hover interaction onto the image. And we said, we initially scaled the view more button to 0.2, and the text has an opacity of zero. And then we scaled it up to one and brought the opacity back to 100% on hover in and hover out. We just scaled it back to 0.2 and changed the opacity of the text to 0%. All right, so that is it. This project is clonable for free. Um, I'll leave a link in the description area below. There'll also be a link to uh, Webflow in the description area below. Um, if you do want to use custom code in Webflow, you do need an account plan or uh, a site plan for your project. Uh, but yeah, you can get started with two free projects in Webflow uh, with the link in the description area below. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.